Hi, my name is Jennifer Green and this portfolio contains samples of the work that I have completed during my studies towards a master's degree in educational technology at the University of South Carolina Aiken. My portfolio is organized using the AECT standards. The artifacts that I will present are categorized under the headings of design, development, utilization, management, and evaluation. My goals during the program have been to increase my knowledge of technology and to learn how to incorporate those skills that I have learned with educational instruction. With the skills I have learned, I want to find employment in the educational sector in a leadership position where I can be responsible for the integration and teaching of technological skills. If you look at my Vita, I have been preparing myself throughout my career to take on progressively more responsible roles and placing myself in a position where I can learn from others as well as share my experiences. This presentation contains artifacts which will demonstrate my mastery of the AECT standards and my proficiency with applying learning theory, design principles, use of models, and the use of multimedia tools and resources. The design artifacts demonstrate that I have the knowledge and skills necessary to design and implement instruction that is relevant to the characteristics of individuals and the characteristics of groups of learners. The artifact that I wish to highlight is a group project created for instructional design and assessment in the fall of 2011 entitled The Adventures of Froggy, the Internet Wizard. This project was a book designed for middle school students using the CAST UDL book builder software. Using Addy, we built this interactive book which follows a group of diverse students through the subject of cyber safety. The book includes avatars geared to students of different abilities. Netizens are everyone on the internet, just like in your neighborhood. Netizens are everyone who lives on the internet. Age-appropriate images added to the instruction by giving students a visual representation with which to remember key concepts. Videos, quizzes, and an extensive glossary increase the knowledge and usability of our book. It also uses book builders tools which include the ability to read and define text. For this reason, you should be sure you don't say anything in a chat window that you wouldn't say in public. It is currently active and is being used as a tool for teachers. The development artifacts demonstrate my skills and knowledge in developing instructional materials using a variety of mediums, including multimedia, print, audiovisual, computer-based, and integrated technology. My first artifact is a PSA on cyber safety created for Design and Development Tools 1 in the fall of 2011. This artifact, when seen in contrast with my later work, can be used as a benchmark to show my progress in creating multimedia projects. As I look back on this particular piece of work, I can see where I could improve on many aspects, including video and sound quality. You are online or on any device that can access the internet. This could be your telephone or cell phone number, your birthday, your social security number, or address. My choice of font size and speed, as well as lack of closed captioning, showed that I needed a lot of improvement. Although I am very proud of this video and the information within it, I can see that it is an early piece of work. I had a long way to go. This project is available to be viewed on my YouTube channel, SCSU93. More maturity can be shown in the following paper on development during the Course Sites Instructional Module entitled Copyright for Teachers. This group project, created for management of technology resources in the fall of 2012, consisted of an LMS designed to help teachers understand the intricacies of copyright and fair use. Development was shown using the ADDIE model. We discussed the venue and timing of the course. As a team, we settled on using an online method of delivery called Course Sites. Included in the development, we discovered that we wanted to add videos to enhance instruction and knowledge acquisition. We developed our evaluative instruments, which allowed users to judge their progress and assess their needs. This module is still being used by myself and my teammates for reference and as a tool for our colleagues. The artifacts in this section demonstrate that I can apply principles and theories to the creation and use of instructional media. In the course, Application for Learning Principles from Spring 2012, in the course, Application of Learning Principles from Spring 2012, I wrote a paper demonstrating redesigned techniques for PowerPoint presentations. I contrasted a presentation that I used at work to teach Excel basics 
with the redesigned version of the same presentation after correcting it using principles of design. The new presentation has a sleeker look and has a lighter cognitive load. The audience is not bombarded with pictures, text, and animation on each slide. Rather, they are given pertinent information and an image with which to create a visual image of that information. If I had to single out one course that caused me the greatest difficulty, but also changed me for the better, it would be my fall 2012 class, Internship in Educational Technology. This class showed me where I personally was the weakest and created the biggest change for the better in my work and personal life. The project, Access Database and Online Learning Module, began as a tool requested by my supervisor. She asked for a database to track schools we served and the programs that we offered to them. It needed an accompanying module to teach my coworkers how to use the database. This project quickly got out of hand as I tried to add superfluous interactive dialogues, queries, and elements that not only confused my coworkers but also myself. It took much recoding and design changes to create the database we use today. The artifacts in this section detail how I developed the skills necessary to develop, create, deliver, and implement technology and technology plans in schools and in the workplace. Funding technology procurement and life cycle replacement was a very enjoyable assignment from fall 2012 in management of technology resources. This was one of the first assignments that I could create that could be used to directly affect a school. I am deeply invested in education and assisting schools in developing policies, initiatives, and programs to improve not only their academics, but the physical, social, and emotional growth of their students. This plan, which is available on my website, details the procurement and replacement of digital wristbands to monitor physical activity. A lot of research, planning, and resources were used to create this plan. It showed me that with the tools I had at my disposal through my studies, I could be a change agent for the programs that I work with. The artifacts in this section demonstrate my ability to assess the quality of instructional materials and their usefulness to learners through a variety of techniques and measures. In the class Design and Development Tools 2 in the spring of 2012, I created a website that instructed users on basic Excel definitions and tools. I used the ADDIE process to work with my coworkers on creating a website where they could go for reference material concerning Excel. It is one of my first websites and it definitely shows. There are a lot of changes that are needed to the website. The color scheme, background graphics, and navigation leave a lot to be desired. It is very confusing to navigate and the overall layout of the website is poor. It is telling that my co-workers, through the evaluation, thought it was an excellent site, leading to the conclusion that substandard web pages are the norm, not the exception, and that it is imperative to inform users on what to expect from an adequate and standards-based website. As I have made my journey through the EdTech program, I have learned not only about the technology that is available for use in education, but also a lot about me. I have to admit that I was overconfident when I began this process. Boy, was I wrong. My first obstacle was Addie. I had a master's degree in counselor education, so I had knowledge of theories, but I had no understanding of Addie. After much heartache and sleepless nights, my teammates finally helped me understand the concept. Let me say a little bit, well, a lot, about the relationships I have built in this program. My idea of online education was formed by several courses I had already taken. The emphasis in this program on peer relationships, peer review, and teamwork opened up a whole new world of experiences for me. Fall 2012 and spring 2013 have led me to realize that my goal of being a leader in education could come true. Not only was I pushed further and harder in grad school, but my new skills were being tested at work. My lessons in web design, presentations, graphics, and curriculum design are being used. I have created training modules, presentations, and graphics for work. I am designing web pages for family and business. My network of associates is growing by leaps and bounds, and I am finally comfortable in my own skin. Not only have I grown through this experience and through my interactions with others, but I have helped others in return.